This is a big deal. Look! She spelled my name right. Me too. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey guys, Hi. it's Micah and Brittany. We're back together outside of camp. A few months ago, I asked on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions for me and Brittany to answer. We filmed this Q&A in March and then I deleted the footage. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. But here we are. It's July. We are gonna refilm right now. Mm -hmm. And we have better answers for you probably now because a lot happened since March, I'd say. I would say so. Yeah, we got our wings and fries mm -hmm. because they're a staple to our friendship and if you take it away, there's no friendship. No friendship. <laughs> All right, let's just start with an easy one. How did y'all meet? Okay. Go ahead, Micah. <laughs> Brittany and I met at camp. I always knew of her during high school week. Like, we'd see each other from afar and she'd mm -hmm. always perform in the talent show. Yeah. <laughs> Sing. Lost boy. <laughs> Summer 2019, when we were finally counselors together, was when we finally really hit it off. Finally. finally. Because way before then, Micah didn't like me. It's the truth. So I think a lot of my reasons for not liking her was because she was a good singer. <laughs> Just, <laughs> she's pretty, it was rooted in insecurity. <sighs> but then I got to know her and she's an actual weirdo. I know. I got to know her, she was less of a good singer. <laughs> uglier <laughs> and then that felt great but anyway yeah so when we were finally counselors together in 2019 that's when we became friends and mm -hmm. bonded over our love for american girl dolls right. and we had cabin 11 together and that was iconic and mm -hmm. broke the internet the favorite camp memory together just while we're on the camp while we're on the camp trails um cabin 11. yeah cabin 11 for sure shout out that was a fun time. What was so fun about it? I don't know. We just had really good girls. It was just good energy. We won. I, we won everything. everything. Are your personalities similar or different? They complement each other really yeah, well. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I feel like we are similar enough to where it's fun and I feel like you relate to me and yeah. vice versa. But I feel like we like a lot of very different things. But the things that count, we both enjoy. I would agree. I would say personalities, not very similar. Maybe similar leadership qualities? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Similar outlook on life, I would say. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that you both will never agree on? All I can think of is like theology things, but even then yeah. they're not like... I'm sure issues. there's things that you're like, I can hear you in my mind saying to me like, oh, I don't like that. Because if I say something, I see you in my mind I'm like... <laughs> I still think it's funny though, I just don't say it all out. <laughs> I feel like we have really similar senses of humor. Yeah. You are more outward with it, but like I think what you think is funny. So what do like to you? When do you feel most beautiful <laughs> unconventionally? Brittany's is whenever it's a slight drizzle outside and her mm -hmm. hair is it kind of curls up wet. a little. But not when you look like a wet rat when you get out of the pool or the shower. Not that one. Not that kind. <laughs> the, <laughs> the vulnerability of getting out of the pool. <laughs> I know. And everything's like stuck to you and your hair is like, and it, your eyes <laughs> your are like eyebrows. red. You're like, Ugh. Yours is when the wind blows through your hair, but, but no, I'm not sure. anymore. <laughs> I feel pretty after a workout. Right, sweaty, kind of. What was something you didn't expect in college? I feel like I was really ready oh for college. Goodness. Oh, we had very different experiences. <laughs> I expected to meet my husband in college. That didn't happen. But I feel like everything else, like friend-wise and just my you social life. You don't know life, that. College is, I just graduated. But you might know him from college. Okay. Like in high school, I always thought to myself, I'm gonna be engaged as a senior in college. Wow. I know, which I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> Imagine if you were engaged right now, like a I can't. I know. <laughs> but that was an expectation that didn't come true. But I feel like for everything else socially, like I planned to get involved in my church and make friends through that, and I did. Mm. What about your college experience? The first time I went to college, it was in New York <laughs> City. There was a lot of things that I didn't expect from that school in particular, just because it was so small, very antisocial. There was no college-esque vibe to it at all. But now I go to Texas a and gig them. And something I didn't expect there, I don't know. I feel like college has just been weird for me altogether. Not a bad weird. It's not the movies is really is what it is. It's not it's not like college in the movies. But see, I would disagree. I feel like I had a... You did have a movie-esque college career. Career. See, I can't... I don't feel like I'm qualified to answer this question because I didn't stay at a, sing a single university for four years. Best tip for making friends. Put yourself out there. That's really what it is. Smile. Join orgs in college, join orgs in school. Find people with similar interests as you. Mm -hmm. Like the library. Yeah. If you go work at the library, what's all the average age of your audience? We'll love books. Go to summer camp. 
<laughs> Honestly, yeah, finding something, I don't want to say camp specifically, but when you find a big group of people that reunite, you all have a common goal and you see each other consistently over the years, like that's a great way to make friends. Are y'all returning to camp? The answer is no. And this is our last summer at camp. Just because of the stage of life I'm entering into, we've kind of seen our friends phase out and it just feels yeah, like we're it's we're the last time. of them, I would say. We really are, yeah, it's me, Brittany, and Victoria. Yeah, it's sad and it's hard, it's really, been a tough thing to navigate yeah. because we love it so much and it's all we know. It's all we've known for 10 plus years of our summers. That's very true. That's the most difficult part is like, I've never had a summer where I didn't go to camp, where there's a camper or like working there. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Pancakes. So how do you feel about graduating? My answer has morphed a little since we originally filmed this. In March, I was feeling really nervous, really helpless, just really fearful of the unknown. I still am nervous for what's coming up. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> I just fell out of my mouth. <laughs> and I have a job, but I just, it's just scary. Like going from college and four years of making your own schedule and just being surrounded by friends all the time. I'm really nervous to see what it's like to be working in eight to five. There's a lot I'm going to be mourning about college, but I am excited for my new house and where I'm living. I feel ready to graduate. That's how I feel about graduation. It's interesting how our experiences tie into yeah. how we feel. I took a gap year out of high school, and so I would be I would have been graduating the same time Echo was, but I have one more year. Really why I want to graduate is because I'm just going to more school. Law school is where I'm going. <laughs> Do we still look like sisters? I feel like not so much anymore. Not today. Not today. Other days. Maybe another time. Yeah. Fave memory together in general. We've done a lot. Sure. What? <laughs> well, I was gonna say just like traveling. Yeah, Arizona was really fun. Yeah, Arizona was great. Colorado was great. Colorado was so fun. We are Siamese, if you please. <laughs> but also just like visiting each other's parents' houses. Yeah, parents' houses. Her. Also visiting in college. Like when I came for your birthday, that was one of the most fun times. That was really fun. I don't know. I, no, like, I was talking sometimes about Sometimes we just go do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you first. No, you go. <laughs> It's all you. Well, I was gonna say, we were at Walmart last week just walking around looking at the clothes and I looked at Brittany and I was like, it's kind of weird having a best friend. Like, you just like walk around together. Yeah, you just do stuff together. It's like, I haven't seen Mike all day and then I pop into dinner and I'm just like, oh my god. This isn't a camp it's context. A <laughs> we don't actually get to see each other very much outside of camp. Yeah, whenever I'm just going throughout the day and then I go home for dinner. And Four like hours. <laughs> That is interesting. Do you think that our distance, our long distance relationship has affected our it's, friendship? No, it's better than most of my long distance relationships. <laughs> do you think if we we'd were closer? Put, well, we, it, t we talk every day any anyway. That's true. That's what you should do for a long distance relationship anyway. <laughs> Stop. Paper like. Where am I going to answer? Favorite like. What does that mean? Favorite thing I like about Brittany. We'll just reword, reword it. This is just for my kid answer though. But you can do me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no question for that though. <laughs> my favorite thing about- <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> I just feel like I'm not in the frame. <laughs> I think she's funny, I think she's smart, and I think- <laughs> I think she gives good advice. Um, my favorite thing about Micah, even though nobody asked, I'll say anyway. <laughs> I think Mike. I would say all the three things she said about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a cop out. No, I'm about to keep going. The reason I like you so much is because you're like me. <laughs> but also, <laughs> I think... <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't mean it! <laughs> no, no, I'm just laughing because... I'm not in the front! <laughs> I would say Mike is also like really easy going, like easy to hang out with. Doesn't cause like me any stress really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's not an inconvenience to me. No, we just have an easy friendship. Feels like we don't have to try very hard. Like I don't, I don't always have to be like on when I'm around her. I feel like I can just relax around Mike. Which Disney princess are you most like? I'll answer Disney for Brittany. Princess? Belle, 100%. She likes to read. If law school was a thing in France in the 1700s, Belle would probably be there. I love beasts. <laughs> She's brown hair. She can sing. She has a dad. Micah. <laughs> Pretty. I feel like you're like Ariel. No. Yeah, I'm just like very curious. Yeah, like but wants Ariel, the answer all the time. Ariel 
just make stupid choices. I don't think you're like any of the Disney princesses, to be honest with you. I think that you're like Joy from Inside Out. <laughs> Maybe like Anna from Frozen? See, that's so interesting. Because the Hassan ones you're that's listing, you no, but like I don't enjoy the bubbly princesses. But the reason I feel like you're like Ariel is because like you're very curious. You're a very curious cat. <laughs> you have like of dad. I was gonna say that. I have a dad that I disobey. You make sacrifices for people. You give up your voice. I do? I don't know. <laughs> I know Micah, I swear. <laughs> I'll take Joy, I'll take Joy. You remind me of Joy from Inside Out all the time. Oh. Thank you. She also causes all the problems. <laughs> but, okay. All these people are just trying to do the right thing, but maybe don't go about it in the right way. So. <laughs> So what does that's that say not, about me? That's not what I mean. <laughs> I would say maybe Tiana, actually, because she's a hard worker. She knows what she wants. Next. Celebrity crushes. Oh. Well, from the age of six, it was Shark Boy. Then we get up into Twilight. All through middle school and high school, it was Jacob from Twilight. But forever and always, it'll be Taylor Lover. But as of lately, it's Austin Butler. Uh-huh. <laughs> For me. Uh, the first like guy that I hyper fixated on and I was like, oh yeah, was Chris Hemsworth. Mm. Like he was my lock screen in middle school. <laughs> when the Hunger Games came out, I was team Gale for a long time. And now that I'm older and like know what actually is like right and wrong, um, <laughs> I am team PETA. So Josh Hutchison was in there for a while. Theo James crept in there. During the whole dystopian era, mm. any, the protagonist <laughs> man was tell you this. I was a Miles Teller girl from Divergent. That's I another thing Mike and I disagree on. We don't have the same taste in boys. Which is a really good thing. Yeah. What are you passionate about? Um, the government. <laughs> I'm passionate about movies I like. Celebrities coming to Christ. <laughs> That's really true. <laughs> Mike is passionate about evangelizing to celebrities. <laughs> I'm passionate about the government and the United States history. How does it feel to be the best counselor duo ever? It feels really good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. What is the biggest thing y'all have learned in the past year? Life goes on whether you want it to or not, so suck it up, enjoy the moment you're in, and get excited for the next one. I don't know what I said the last time we did this. We both had sad answers, because mine was like all melancholy because I was about to graduate. Mine was, was sad because I had just gotten broken up with. What I'm learning is this. It is what it is. Ignorance is bliss, and how people feel about you is not up to you. You treat people with kindness, you treat them with respect, you show the love of the Lord, and that's the most that you can do, okay? Life goes on. Who's your current crush? <laughs> Here, wait, let's, okay, I got it. Let's whisper each other our current crushes. <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Appearance or personality? Well, I would change my freaking <laughs> I hate the way my legs I go. I would change my frickin' <laughs> the way my legs go. How Probably pigeon toed like, I am, that's what I'm trying to say. I would change the shape of my face. <laughs> from the side, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, like she has like a jawline, it's chiseled. But when I smile from the front, <laughs> my face just gets so huge. And no. I was looking at, I was looking at it <laughs> compared to everybody else's face in the picture. I was like... So I would either change that or my height. I would rather be either shorter or taller, I feel like. <laughs> Moral of this story, the things that you want to change about yourself, no one else probably notices because I've never noticed Brittany's big face. <laughs> Get a load of this thing. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. It's big. All I can say is shout out to my dad. What's your favorite dish? A mug. That's all the questions. If you watch to the end, it's probably because you don't know us IRL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that being said, I hope you know us better now. Yeah. Do you ever think about how weird it is that I make YouTube videos? Yeah. I think about that a lot. Will I post this? I don't know. She might delete it again. On purpose this time. <laughs> Look how freaking huge <laughs> my face is. I was looking at your face and I was like, why does hers look like such a teardrop and mine's like... I don't really? know, Micah. There's some people that you just don't want to take pictures with, not because you don't love them, but just because everything about them is like way better than you. Find someone that you look at them and you're like, 
I'll take a picture with him. Yeah. <laughs> Find someone. <laughs> so I found mine. <laughs> yeah. That's why my whole Instagram is just me and Micah. I found my girl I can take pics with. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> just letting it. I thought I'd get little. <laughs> Let's wrap that. Okay. Um, Heavenly Father, I think you guys. Let's see me thumbnail. Prayers, funny? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> we have very similar habits. habits. <laughs> ah! Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>